Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our daily angelic message. If you would like to work with me, you can just go to my website, angelsouls444.com. If you want to do a live reading session with me or take an angelic course, how to connect with your angels, how to work with certain archangels, whatever the case may be, you can email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. I do want to make it clear that learning angel mediumship that is a different price point than the other courses okay just be aware of that oh that doesn't feel like that's right okay here we go in here the beloved that's interesting okay so we had love a few days ago something big is going off here it is the sudden moment of like oh my gosh i've been chasing after the wrong stuff right um this is you getting your priorities straight this is you realizing what your life is supposed to be about. Uh, it's probably not about glitz and glamour and material things necessarily. If you have those things, you're not bad for having those things, okay? But this is true love. This is, ah, and I'm sorry, but people who get ignited over the idea of twin flames, you're going to have the roughest go of it because like the whole thing, people who engage in that twin flame energy that's actually usually a very toxic connection. Fight me. Uh, fight me in the comments, okay? Like, go ahead. Go off. I don't care. It's usually a very toxic scenario. And it's what people use as an excuse to stay with a terrible partner. Or it makes people desperate and needy. Uh, or egotistical. I know some of you are going to be so mad at me. But listen, it's got to be said. It's got to be said. I would not be doing you a service by sitting here and enabling, enabling, what's the word? Enabling <laughs> that kind of behavior. So yes, it, I've done this long enough that people are more in love with the idea of there's a perfect person out there for me who completes me. And their go-to excuse is, well, if you don't get it, you're not one of them. Stop. Oh, stop. The beloved is, is showing you that that's not the way. That's not the way. That is what you're going to have the most drama with. That's what you're going to have probably the most pain and turmoil with until you finally realize, hey, love is supposed to feel like coming home. Love is supposed to feel like the most divine love you know, remembering the divine love in the physical realm. It's supposed to be supportive. It's not supposed to be fighting. Like people are going to have disagreements, sure. But it's supposed to be peaceful, okay? You're supposed to feel safe. You wouldn't have a partner call you any sort of derogatory word. If it's the beloved, if it's a true deep love. You feel me? You see what I'm going for here? All right, <laughs> let me just, I'm just going to lay that out there because I, I just want to, I'm sorry, I feel like I'm getting in so much trouble now. I just want to sum it up by saying we need to switch gears here. There were things that have become popular because they satisfy the ego, quite frankly, and people have made entire platforms surrounding that um, and then claim everybody else misunderstands it. Uh, you don't like, and no hate, like some of them out there are, they seem like lovely people who strictly do love readings and stuff like that. And I listen to their readings and yeah, they have the twin flame term in there, but their readings are good and they're pure and they're giving beautiful guidance. There's beautiful guidance coming through them to help these people learn, um, these difficult lessons. So those are not the people I'm talking about. But there were plenty who came out just to make a quick buck. And, oh, good news, they're all going to lose their businesses. The ones that came out to make a quick buck and didn't care how anybody was doing, who did not take the spiritual assignment seriously. So that was my little tangent. We'll just leave that there. I am sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.